where we will find the dream boat. I mean the real East County. Please, a warm PPR welcome for Mr. Matt Gilson. All right, thank you, Paul. For the first time in the 19-year history of the Prep Pigskin Report, we are coming to you live from the Imperial Valley, number nine, Mount Miguel, traveling to face number one Southwest in the East County Game of the Week, brought to you by El Cajon Ford. Nobody beats El Cajon Ford. My intrepid cameraman, Scott Nunez, and I making the trip. Now, a lot of people will complain about the drive out to the desert, but not us. You know, it was smooth sailing all day, no problems. We arrived in El Centro refreshed and ready Ready to go for a night of football action and so did Southwest. Cameron Younger's getting things started with a 12-yard touchdown pass to Jason Holgeen in the first quarter they're up 14-0. Second quarter they're punting and Jarvis Hurd is catching for Mount Miguel and he's returning for 55 yards as he turns the jukebox on. That makes it 14-7 at that point Southwest ahead and then it's Younger's again and he is going to connect this time 60 yards to his tight end Grant Hansink. This one goes uh, all the way to the end zone, 20 to 7 southwest. Mount Miguel putting it up, and Jonathan Pugo with the tip, and Southwest's Logan Chell bringing it down. Later in the second quarter, they would score on that one, by the way. Shamar Green is going to score, though, for Mount Miguel, a 15-yard black and blue run. But going back the other way, it is Tyler Sikon. He would score three times in this game, including this one from 80 yards. Makes it 32-14 in the second quarter at that point. He goes to the end zone as we go to the board. Your final in this one, Southwest 39, Mount Miguel 21. Our confidence is high, and uh, I don't think anyone can stop us right now, you know, especially take our confidence away. Uh, it just shows the hard work we've put in all season long, you know. We've been working hard for four years, and we just, we're determined to win this championship. You know, I, I couldn't be prouder of the kids. I, I know they're devastated right now, but as a coach, uh, you know, I can go home and sleep well tonight because they battled.